exercise 22 is very short phrases. It's not even complete sentences. So hopefully it'll be somewhat easy for you. Let's look at in opido. In, in Latin, is a preposition. And it either means in or on. And get used to seeing this. It's going to come with an ablative. So we need in or on. And opido, uh, opido means town. Find that in your vocab words if you don't know it. And it has that macron O because it's in our ablative position. I'm sorry, that's actually a neuter, so it'd be over here. It's, a, it's in the ablative position because that's what in has to come with. The object of the preposition has to be in the ablative position until we get further along in Henley Latin, and then there'll be some other rules that they introduce us to. And then we just decide what makes sense. Would we say in town or on town? And of course, you probably know in town just makes a little bit more sense there. And then let's drop down to number 16. It looked a little bit harder, so I wanted to help you with that. This way. Post is another preposition, and it means after or behind. So I'm going to translate it as after for now, and if I need to come back and change that to behind, I will. It always comes with an accusative, and victorium or victory is what that means, it's in the accusative position. It has that A-M after it. So I'm going to put after the victory. Romanorum. Well, that's the stem for a Roman. Second declension masculine, when they've added orum, it's plural, so there's more than one of the Romans, and it's that possessive, the genitive case. So after the victory of the Romans. Of course, I put an S there because it's in the plural position. Always remember, check your work when you get done. Make sure you're right.